gosh, measles can um, cause pneumonia and um, other types of infections, respiratory infections. It um, really can um, bother the eyes. Uh, the symptoms include cough and eyes being really irritated and red and upset. Um, it can even cause inflammation of the brain um, and the nervous system tissues. So um, there's something called subacute sclerosis and panencephalitis that is very, very serious. Um, and we also know that measles, um, usually through some of these other serious complications, can cause death. And so we don't have a treatment like we do for a bacteria. If you think of, I have a bacteria infection, I can take an antibiotic and that medicine targets the bacteria. So sometimes we think of like a bladder infection or um, an ear infection and we can get a specific medicine that is designed to get rid of that bacteria that is causing that infection. For the measles virus, we don't have that. So if you get sick with the measles virus, um, we don't have a anti-measles virus medicine to give you. Um, and then the virus goes on and causes these different problems. So then we can try and support through that. Um, you know, if you need oxygen when you have pneumonia, if you need IV fluids because you're dehydrated, um, all those kind of things um, the hospitals can help with. Uh, but, um, but then we're relying on the body to kind of work through and, and, and survive the measles infection. And then sometimes people don't survive it. So it's a risk of death if you get measles. And we've seen children already die in the United States. I've never, I mean, I never thought I would see that in my lifetime, you know, and it's very, very sad. And one is too many.